Of course, lots of 4th of July events throughout the day here, and some are set to get underway within the next hour. First News on Fox reporter Hannah Erdman is live in Canfield this morning, where people already have their chairs set up for the parade, and they're warming up for the firecracker run. Good morning, Hannah. Yeah, Anna, Josh, good morning here in Canfield. We're here this morning and people already showing up. Some people even bringing their chairs for the parade as early as yesterday afternoon. It is a great event bringing thousands of people here to Canfield. And I'm here with Claire and she's the parade chair. A lot of things happening here on the Village Green today. It is. It's a very busy place from the Boardman Jazz Quartet playing here in the morning to the parade coming through at 1010. We have um, our our state champion football team is here going to be on the green with a football toss, and then they'll be in the parade. Our runner-up girls softball team is going to be here. She'll be in the parade. Zion Hensley is going to be in, a, a boxer from Ellsworth. So we've got a lot going on. And one thing that's new this year that a lot of places here in the Valley have been introducing is those quiet zones for the parades for little kids, maybe families with some kids with special needs. Tell me a little bit about that and where those families can find where they can go for that. Sure. We've established a block right by the fairgrounds where the parade first leaves at 1010 and it we have signs on it and it's basically a nice area where it's not going to be in the middle of the parade but it's in the beginning so it's a nice quiet place as people leave and so what are you most excited about to see i'm sure you probably have already you've been over to the fairgrounds where those parades are where the parade floats are all setting up but what's probably your most excited thing that you're about for today I love seeing the look on the Grand Marshal's face because they have no idea what happens as they come down the parade route. So our Grand Marshal is Mike and Karen Naffa, and they're getting prepared. Um, seeing the result, seeing the faces of the kids, seeing the people watching what's going on, that's always the best part of it. Perfect. So it's going to be a great morning here, and there's going to be plenty to see. We've got some fair food vendors that are here as well. So make sure you come out and enjoy this. And if you want to get a few extra steps in, you can get into that four-mile firecracker run. Or if you've brought the kids who maybe need to burn off some energy this morning, you can bring them in for the kids' run. That'll be at 8.15, the firecracker run following at 8.30. Reporting live in Canfield, Hannah Erdman, First News on Fox. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.